Hello everyone. Today we are going to make a birdhouse and save the seeds. As you can see, I've got a what they call an apple gourd, and we're going to make it into this little birdhouse. We've got bigger gourds um, that we've already done and painted and so forth, but we haven't got any seeds out of these yet this year, so. What I wanted to do was uh, cut them open, get a few seeds out, and I'm going to try to put them in the ground first thing in the morning before it, uh, before it goes to raining. It's supposed to do like five days of rain, solid, straight, pretty much, in North Mississippi uh, next week or all weekend and so forth, on over into next week. And then after that, it's supposed to dry up. So I wanted to get a few, a few seeds in the ground before... Before it dried up. What you'll need for this project is a saw. Now I use this, you might be able to use something different and you'll need a drill. I used a cordless drill with just a bit on it. You can see the uh, bit's not very big. I know it looks pretty big but it's about you know smaller than the end of my pinky finger. I don't even know what size we put in there. But anyway, uh, we're going to drill a hole. We already pre-drilled the hole. Now these things are real dry, so you have to be real careful with them. Don't, don't treat them rough. Just sort of, you know, peck around with them. Don't get in no hurry. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to saw us a hole, you know, about the size of a, a bird or whatever, you know, about the average size. We're going to get the seeds out of here. Now, I'm not no expert, so just bear with me here. My wife done the last ones. She done a whole lot better than I do. But she, uh... She don't want to be on camera. So just saw it up. Like I say, don't get in no hurry like, like I do. I ain't have no patience. This may not be the perfect style for this, but it's just the first thing that I grabbed pretty much. I know you probably can't see a whole lot. I'm just trying to. You know, I, I, th I did think about a paddle bit, but I'm just, I'm just real not sure, really not sure about uh, if it would break it or not. I don't want to break it. Cause it'd be no good if you broke it. Well, a piece of them flew off. Like I say, this may not be the perfect saw, but it's worked so far for us. Be real careful with this. You probably want to use some gloves. Like I say, I'm not the expert, but. And I'm pretty sure my hole's not going to be perfectly round either. Like I say, these gourds are very dry. These here, my mother grew them probably about two years ago. We just want us some seed. And these are called apple gourds. I don't know if I mentioned that. Maybe these will 
Maybe they will approve my wife. It's pretty hot out here. As you can see, it's not a perfect round, but I believe a, a uh, bird, a smaller bird, would uh, would get in there. And I'll tell you what, let me try this right here. See if I can straighten it up a little bit. Hey, that helps right there. Take this, just water it around just like that. Look at there. That's just almost round. Um, let me see, uh, see if I can find that other gourd and see what it looks like. All right, now the wife done this one and she done it just as I was doing, just watered the, uh, the hole out. And you can see hers is actually a little bit better than mine. We ain't gonna tell her that though. Let's see, let me find my hole. My hole might be just a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think my hole looks better. But anyway, uh, that's how you actually cut a hole in it. Now, as you can hear, there's some seeds in there. Let me set this to the side. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got just uh, an old dish here, and I'm going to just try to shake them out. See right there? They just come out pretty easy. Better than I was expecting. Now, you won't get them all out like that, but uh, you may actually have to have a flathead screwdriver to, to dig some of them out, but as you can see, we're getting a good many of them out there, just like that. Stick my hand off down in there and see what I can get out. Yeah, this just keep on falling out. Let's see. I'll stick this right here down in there and see if I can get a little bit more out. Like I say, I'm not no expert. Just thought it'd be a fun video to, to try. Let me see a stick here. You know, they've got a good bit of seed in there. You can save them. Like I say, we, we like to keep them, get them real good and dry. Now I'm going to tell you something, I grew some birdhouse gourds last year, and I put them in my shop. And I didn't put any, uh, I don't know, any, uh, any type of chemical or anything on there to keep the varmints out. And the darn mice eat my gourds. I mean, just that, well, what they would do, they would just eat a little portion of it and leave it, go to the next one. So they weren't my gourds. Now, I really don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to try something different this time. But anyway, y'all can see how I'm doing it here. Just uh, get all your seeds out, and then when you, uh, when you get done, just take your light piece of sandpaper, paint it any color you want. You can paint them red, white, and blue, or pink, or purple, or whatever you want. And uh, some, some people drill them a little bitty hole right here, and a little bitty hole right here, or on the sides, and run them maybe like a wire or a string, you know, something to hold them up. Um, that's a great idea. I don't know how you want to do it, but anyway, that's another suggestion. I'm not sure how my wife plans on doing this, but 
that's probably what we'll do just drill us a hole and drill us a hole and run it through there hold it up on some type of line she'll paint it some wild colors you can look at this uh, chair this Anirondack chair over here and uh, anyway it'll be some wild looking color but anyway that's all right we'll hang them up birds might get in them might not but anyway that's how you make a birdhouse and save seed also out of a gourd out of an alpha gourd now these seeds right here are just as dry and ready to go they're ready to go to the ground tonight like I say they've been drying which we've had these gourds for about two years my mother grew them and uh, that's how you do it make sure if you're a new viewer subscribe like throw out some comments uh, share our channel we're a small channel trying to grow and if y'all would help us out we appreciate all the views and y'all have a great day